So today I'm going to be going over the live SEO uh, case study uh, in ranking a lead generation website. Uh, so I really wanted to focus uh, my attention on a brand new domain. Uh, so I registered this domain on June 24th. Uh, it had actually previously been uh, some kind of micro site uh, by some web design agency here in Canada. Uh, so we decided to register this domain. Um, throw some uh, throw some content on it. Um, we've integrated it with the uh, SEO audit tool, My Site Auditor, uh, which does a really good job of taking the leads, uh, sending out the reports automatically, uh, and then they're you know they drive the uh, the leads back to us. Which uh, there's even some powerful integrations uh, where we can uh, have all the leads go directly into Salesforce as well, which make it really easy to to manage. Um, the number of leads, obviously the fact that it's a, uh, a free tool um, would increase the amount of leads versus you know those we would get through our regular website. Um, so we want to be able to uh, navigate through those effectively and you know see which ones are from let's say SEO uh, or web designers um, where they might not be as good of a quality lead for our agency. Uh, however, it's a good way to get uh, you know these people into our funnel and be able to uh, market separate you know case studies or uh, any content uh, you know that would be helpful uh, to that user. So effectively what I've done uh, with this uh, case study, I've uh, itemized each task that I've com completed throughout the process. Um, so really, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to emphasize that it's, uh, it's really, uh, SEO in itself is, is quite simple really when you, when you just you know, piece it out. Um, so as you can see, basically on the 24th, I uh, registered the domain. Uh, you know, the second step was set up a hosting account. Uh, I have, you know, uh, several hosting accounts, but one of them I just set it up on my virtual private server. Uh, it is through a Canadian host uh, located in Toronto, so not too far away. Obviously, I do want to keep it kind of in the same geographical area, uh, not only due to the fact that, you know, speeds are improved. Um, I just, I just... I feel like there's some kind of benefit there. I'm not sure that Google's come out and said it directly, um, but uh, it's, it's never a bad idea. Um, now, the third step was actually going, setting up a Cloudflare account. Um, basically, what that does is it routes all of the traffic through their uh, server. So at the domain registrar level, um, you're able to set your domain, or excuse me, your name servers to Cloudflare. Um, and then it has a whole bunch of uh, different uh, uh, I guess features, um, some to do with security, some to do with site speed, um, caching options, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and it really manages your entire uh, DNS profile. So I mean, one thing you want to beware is before switching to Cloudflare, uh, making sure that uh, you know if you're on any kind of, uh, let's say, Google Apps or Microsoft Office 365, uh, that all the DNS would be set up correctly. Um, that, that would be more with a, uh, you know, a, a complicated uh, migration. Um, but obviously, when it's a brand new website, you don't have to worry about uh, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and from there, I uh, downloaded a theme on ThemeForest. Um, so basically, instead of doing you know your standard WordPress uh, content management system or Joomla or whatever it may be, I decided to do a static uh, theme. So basically, what that means, uh, it's just the HTML in, it, in, a, in its own. There's no backend engine. It's not. Uh, it's not really. Uh, I would say <laughs> friendly for anybody who's not a web designer uh, to be able to go in there and make changes. So uh, I, I knew by by using just a simple one page template, uh, it was going to make it really easy to get uh, you know really. Uh, uh, optimize theme really quick load times uh, and be able to kind of reduce the amount of uh, assets or elements that were being loaded um, you know come the time to start optimizing the site uh, so then the next step was going over all of the content uh, we have a full-time content writer here she helped me out with that uh, obviously like I said before integrating the my site auditor plugin um, and then I, I love using GT metrics GT metrics is a great tool um, basically what it allows you to do is run your website through their report so if we just take a look here I'm just gonna quickly type in oops type in my domain here and you'll see it'll basically scan through the site and it'll give us all kind of recommendations and uh, you know scores based on uh, the page loading time uh, all of the elements being loaded uh, all that kind of stuff so obviously you're gonna see 
you know, a report that's much better when, it, you know, how it looked when I first did it. Um, you know, there are some recommendations here where I probably could get a higher score. It talks about optimizing certain images, um, basically lossly compressing them, that kind of stuff. So there is, you know, a little bit of work to do. Um, but regardless, you can see, for example, the Y slow grades, um, you know, which has to do with uh, all these separate little recommendations or tasks. Um, you know, I, I've tried to address as many of them as possible. Uh, obviously, look, you can see the, the Cloudflare does a nice uh, job for that. You can even look at like your waterfall and see what elements, uh, images, that kind of stuff are being uh, loaded, how long they're taking to load. So if you're really looking at, you know, your page load time is, is really too high, then you can look at maybe, you know, either reducing the size of some of these um, some of these items or, uh, you know, removing them all together. Um, so you can see effectively like a one and a half second page load time. I mean, that's really, really good. Uh, hey, sometimes you might hit under a half second, but the fact that we're integrating a JavaScript um, embedded tool within our site and it's loading very quickly, I mean, that's, uh, that's certainly a good thing. So obviously this is, uh, this is the page, uh, how it looks now. Um, Obviously, the goal is to simply have someone visit here, create the report. It's going to send it to them via email, and just kind of get them into our uh, into our system. And and if it's uh, you know someone we feel that is a quality lead, then uh, get in touch with them uh, and go from there. Uh, if not, hey, they're going to get some some handy tips out of it um, for uh, you know for doing their own SEO. So a big part of this as well uh, has to do with uh, links. So. You know, if you were on its own to go do this case study and not throw any links at it, then you probably, well, you definitely wouldn't have got the same uh, success that we've uh, we've had to date. So I would definitely uh, recommend looking at doing, uh, you know, generating some kind of links, whether the natural you're going and, and creating connection with people or doing, you know, a guest post or whatever it may be. Um, you know, I, I did take advantage of some private blog networks at this point. Um, it's still a very, uh, very effective strategy. Um, maybe not the lo best long-term solution. It's not something that I would necessarily uh, use for clients. However, um, you know, if the right project came along where there's, there's you know, no risk of uh, putting some, uh, you know, high power links um, to that site, then it's, it's something you could execute as part of the strategy. Uh, so another thing I did was also generate, uh, order some social signals from PBM Butler. Uh, what that does, in my opinion anyways, is it, it kind of keeps it natural. As a lot of times when a, a new business starts off, uh, you know, they create their social media profiles. There's a little bit of buzz from family, friends, and whatnot. Uh, and then you would kind of see the, the increase in, uh, in inbound links. So as you can see, uh, you know, within the first, I'd say, two weeks, I had actually um, placed about, I believe, four to six uh, backlinks, all with varying uh, relevancy. But for the most part, they were, you know, uh, looking at Majestic, uh, which is a link analysis tool. Um, they look uh, at uh, topical trust flow. So this has to do with um, what are the websites that are linking to you related to what industries, what topics. Um, so we try to get, uh, you know, if, if the if the link uh, quality, let's say the trust flow, is not as high, uh, as, long as, it's, as long as it's topically relevant, um, then you will see more power from that and it'll definitely help you with your rankings. Um, so basically by the uh, basically the two week point or the uh, little bit less than two weeks, uh, we'd already been ranking in the, you know, on the fifth page or sixth page for free SEO report, uh, which gets about 880 monthly searches. Uh, and the term SEO report, uh, which gets about 4,400 uh, monthly searches, was ranking on page nine. Now, you know, a lot of SEOs, they say, don't go set up the search console account. Don't go set up an analytics account. You know, they're, I know with PBN specifically, uh, obviously a money site, you're, you're going to do that. That's only natural. Um, so another thing I figured that would give it a little boost I really wanted to look at was the, uh, you know, how AdWords ties into SEO. And if, if you know, creating an AdWords campaign uh, would assist in, in driving rankings. And I don't think it's anything that ever, Google's ever gonna come out and admit um, you know, any correlation, but I, I think there is the fact that you know, if you're driving that relevant traffic to your website, people are engaging with it, um, you know, Google's gonna grow, crawl, crawl your site. Um, so I figured for, you know, to throw up an AdWords campaign at $5 a day um, for basically targeting the same keywords that I'm looking at uh, ranking organically, uh, I figured that was a good way to um, you know, throw a little bit of an investment towards it uh, and see what happens. So basically within five days of setting up the AdWords campaign and only with, uh, I'd say, a couple more backlinks uh, and some other minor uh, optimizations, uh, we had actually hit page two for our free SEO report keyword and page three uh, for SEO report. 
Um, so again, really happy with that. And you can see, um, you know, from the case study that there was less than twenty dollars ad spent at that point. Um, so I mean, we were pretty happy with that. And then I figured another way we really wanted to look at driving some additional traffic uh, to the website. It would be direct traffic. Uh, we had an event, a networking event last week. Uh, so at our booth, you know, I figured a cool way would just be print out some uh, some postcards with. Uh, you know, a link to our free SEO report website and drive some traffic that way. Again, something that would be very natural and uh, not just relying on one source of traffic. So uh, as you can see, I, I did a pretty uh, extended uh, update on July 12th. Uh, now it had to do with the fact that uh, both of our keywords were on page two, really exciting. Uh, and, you know, we added two more. I wanted to add two more high quality links um, looking at adding a blog. Uh, because I found right now with uh, you know the traffic that we're getting, since it's just kind of a one-page site, people are bouncing, and I, I don't want that to affect our rankings because um, you know uh, bounce rate would would play into that. Um, so I figured by setting up a blog, we could have, kind of have lower the bounce rate a little bit, increase the amount of content and, and pages on the site. Um, the third step would be setting up a remarketing campaign. Uh, so this would be targeted to pe people who have uh, completed an audit uh, or visited the site. Um, you know, then we could target them with different types of ads. So things like uh, if we wanted to give away, let's say, free uh, SEO report tracking or, excuse me, analytics tracking, social tracking uh, in a dashboard, then we could target them with those ads or, or target them uh, with our agency ads. Now uh, the fourth step, we're looking at uh, doing, uh, you know, a quick video, integrating it within the site, um, just kind of showing people how how the process works, um, you know, and then being able to create a YouTube channel from there, uh, maybe drive some ad additional traffic that way. I mean, we know YouTube's the uh, the second biggest uh, search engine in the world, so never a bad idea to uh, drive some additional traffic um, using video. And then uh, creating a custom script, uh, I talked about this a little bit earlier, um, that would take all of those leads generated in my site auditor and then place them directly in our uh, instance of Salesforce just to uh, just streamline all the leads that we're getting. So a few more updates in that time. And then as you can see today, uh, we've actually hit first page uh, for our money keywords. So we're actually number five for a term that gets 4,400 monthly searches. This is in three weeks uh, with a brand new uh, domain. Uh, I really do think the fact that it had been registered previously and you know it was by an SEO company so maybe they did a little bit of work on it. I'm not saying this is gonna be uh, the result you're gonna get every single time uh, but overall with you know the mix of uh, solid on-page SEO, uh, the mix of high quality backlinks, social buzz and even the fact that this case study has, has driven some traffic to that website, some engagement, uh, I really do think it's all played uh, you know into it and uh, as you can see we've gotten some really great ranking so far. Um, so a lot of SEOs might ask, are you worried about, you know, your your uh, high percentage um, anchor text ratio? So meaning, uh, for example, free SEO report, the keyword and SEO report, the keyword are used as anchor text, um, maybe a little bit higher percentage than I'd like uh, if I were looking at, you know, doing work on a client site uh, or just, you know, as a long term strategy, we don't want to get into situations where we're risking penalization. Um, so basically what we're going to do over the next while, um, you know, in addition to the tasks I just mentioned, I'm also going to look at uh, diluting uh, those percentages, whether it's with uh, naked URL links uh, or various other, um, you know, keywords. And again, I think uh, going back to the blogs, I think that's a good way um, to vary that a little bit. Because um, ideally, hey, we're ranking there now, so let's, you know, keep trying to drive it up to number one uh, and then, uh, you know, generate as many leads as we can and then we'll, we'll see what happens from there. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to engage uh, on the actual live SEO case study page on uh, seoplus.ca. Uh, and next step, I'm actually going to be doing a case study on ranking a brand new domain uh, and a Shopify store. So I've had a lot of requests lately on how to do SEO for Shopify. Um, so I was going to show uh, you know a prime example from day one, registering that Shopify store and, and eventually ranking it uh, for its main keywords. So uh, again, look forward to, in, uh, to discussing with you guys and uh, have a good one.